All right, welcome back, everybody. That's a little bit more like it. Uh, happy Wednesday evening to you all. We've got some blue sky out there after what was a very dark and gloomy start to the day. Uh, there will be some gloom and doom at times here this weekend, but there will also be uh, some nice periods like this. Uh, for the fourth, it's going to start out like this, but then revert to a little stormier pattern as we get into tomorrow afternoon. How about that, though, for July 3rd? High temperatures pretty much across the state stayed in the 50s and the 60s. Great Falls did make it up into the 60s here with a little more sunshine, 66, but this is still 15 degrees uh, below average. A lot of the state, there you can see the numbers uh, into the 60s, even a 70 out there around uh, Missoula here, but uh, everybody below average. and. Most of Montana saw some wet weather today. Some parts of the High Line got a little break. Uh, not much in the way of severe weather, except as I say that there is one uh, severe thunderstorm warning down there right around Hardin. But uh, you can see the lightning activity. Of course, we had some thunder uh, in and around the Capitol earlier today and some storms pushing across Interstate 15 north of Great Falls. But things have really quieted down around the Capitol out there. Uh, heading through about Helmville, we've got uh, south of Helmville, we've got a little in the way of some wet weather there uh, just to the north of Avon around Cup Bank still a little wet weather up on the Rocky Mountain front and there's that thunderstorm that's kind of fizzling out as it moves away from Dutton around Bozeman Livingston around the Paradise Valley a little bit of wet weather and there's that uh, severe thunderstorm off towards the uh, southeast of Billings here wind and some large hail likely with that cell here but uh, things will kind of quiet down here overnight tonight there will still be a couple of showers maybe until about eight Eight, nine o'clock and that's when things will re really begin to quiet down tomorrow. Of course, 4th of July and the weather will start out pretty nice. We'll have a decent amount of sunshine for the capital. Great Falls Cup Bank uh, through Haver. Maybe a shower or a thunderstorm in the morning hours around Lewistown. You'll get some sun as well. But look at this as we head into the afternoon and this will be the theme here through the weekend. The mornings are nice, but by the time we get into two, three, four, five o'clock, the thunderstorms will start to fire. Of course, uh, tomorrow Tomorrow night, a lot of towns having their fireworks displays by about 9, 10 o'clock. Just a couple of isolated showers and thunderstorms out there. So bring the rain gear if you're going to a fireworks display tomorrow, but most of them will be dry. And then into Friday, it starts out kind of quiet, still a little moisture in the state. But look at the activity picking up once again, heading through the afternoon and the evening. Saturday and Sunday will be like that as well. So for tonight, this is a cool night here for July 3rd, getting down into the 40s. Uh, for many locations was in the 30s uh, into the mountains uh, this morning and showdown could get down to about 39 here. Uh, temperatures in the 40s around 50 for the capital. Here is the Independence Day forecast. Happy birthday, America. You can see the uh, storms early and then a few more thunderstorms firing scattered about the state here through the afternoon. Highs a little warmer. Most locations will get up into the 70s tomorrow. Again, beginning at around 2, 3 o'clock. That's when a few of those thunderstorms will fire for Friday, starting out quiet. A few thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs in the 60s and the 70s once again. Here we go into Saturday, starting out dry, but Saturday afternoon and Sunday afternoon. There will be some big thunderstorms, a pile of really plowing through parts of the state here. Uh, strong to severe storms. Remember last week when we were dealing with all those severe uh, thunderstorms? There's a potential this weekend, Saturday afternoon and Sunday afternoon for some big thunderstorms coming through. The weekend, though, will be a little warmer, getting up into the 70s and the low 80s. Here's the seven-day forecast for the capital. Mostly a nice day tomorrow in the afternoon. We'll have a couple of showers and thunderstorms around the area, but not everybody will get wet like the capital area did today here with those storms coming through an isolated storm Friday, Saturday and Sunday and then Monday and Tuesday and Wednesday more wet weather high temperatures right around the 80 degree mark but we're in the 70s for Great Falls next couple of days probably the driest before again big time thunderstorm Saturday and Sunday July 4th weekend everybody's outside really for the most part watch those storms okay good advice thank you so much Curtis